So we've got uh, just under two minutes then to talk about a documentary feature for the week. Uh, this is a documentary about a very beloved property within our pop culture framework. Uh, it's cleaning up the town, remembering Ghostbusters. Yeah. Remind me of the director's names. It's, um, Anthony uh, and Claire Bueno, um, you know, who I, I do know and I'm going to give a shout out to. Hello, congratulations, well done. It's been years in the making and I know this is mm -hmm. a labour of love for them. This is essentially anyone who is obsessed with Ghostbusters. <laughs> There's a fair few of those this around. Is, yeah, <laughs> this is your dissection of every single moment that happened in towards the making of the film. You know, when we were doing it, we actually thought we were doing something for the ages. I thought, why not mix the real world of psychic research and make a good old-fashioned ghost comedy? I think we fully believed that we were going to carve out a little niche in film history. And I just got this wonderful shiver down my back that I was about to do something special. There's nothing else like it. It's funny and fresh. I can genuinely say, this is the definitive documentary about the making of Ghostbusters. And that is at once both a compliment and a detriment. OK. Uh, there are things that annoy me. Uh, for instance, predictably enough, obviously, the, there's no footage of Bill Murray being interviewed, which that annoys Such me. That's a shame. That's, that's really... more to do with him, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, also, there's, a, there's a, a choice made to fixate entirely on the specifics of the film rather than the legacy of it, where it stands. Uh, they include, for instance, in oh, the logo. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mind that. Did you not? But in the logo, the actual logo, logo of the film it includes the logo so both ghostbusters 1 and 2 you're like again they don't mention ghostbusters 2 but having said that i know that there is another cut of the film that's being uh, put into the limited theatrical release that's okay. uh, about half an hour longer okay so i don't know it's only like 90 up. minutes yes. at the moment 96 so i think exactly. 96 minutes do you know what i really liked about this is that i, I like to geek out about how <laughs> movies are made what kind of happens with it and i think this does it really well goes into all of that detail about how slimer the prosthetics and all that kind of yeah, stuff was yeah. done i love the fact that uh, I don't know if they managed to interview Harold Ramis, if this has gone, kind of gone uh, no, on. No, the arc is, the entries is archive, are archival. Yeah. Well, it fits in really mm. nicely with all the other uh, yeah. things. And I love like the story of how Sigourney Weaver, basically, you know, she came on board and oh, everyone yeah. was like, they, interviewed, they they did like, they tried Daryl Hannah for the role, loads of different people, but she was, they never thought they'd get Sigourney and she basically begged them yeah, I know, to be part right? of the film. Well, that's because I didn't realise that she, she's such a theatre uh, actress, Sigourney yeah. Weaver, at that point as well. And about, I mean, I, mean, I watched this with my roommate, Ghostbusters fanatic, strange of things fanatic so you can imagine how excited he is mm. this year and uh, we had recently watched Netflix's The Movies That Made Us and it's Ghostbusters episode yeah. and that one features interviews sort of current so I think Harold Ramis isn't involved for instance but this features interviews that are I would say at a guess uh, 15 to 20 years old still don't include Bill Murray because getting him to talk about Ghostbusters hey I, I had a thumb yeah. war with Bill Murray it's a highlight of my Did career you? yeah on oh the red God. carpet and he was delightful and I, he let me win oh, oh <laughs> he, let, he let you win he let you win yeah, you, you there was nothing competitive about that at all. You beat up an old man at a thumb war, Max. Come what? on. What? Say what? No, overall, I think this is a solid insight into the world of Ghostbusters. Yeah. I think you'll get, if you're interested in the movie, you'll get everything you want out yeah. of it. I agree with you on the legacy point of view. I yeah. think it does lack that side of thing. But from a technical perspective, understanding the funding, the origins, yeah. how they actually pulled it together, where people came from in order to come together to make this movie, that really worked for me on this documentary. For me, I'm going to give it one thumb again because I found it a bit too needlessly over, uh, overly in-depth. Uh, for instance, on things like there were certain special effects, for instance, where it feels like this one person is talking for 15 minutes about one special effect, and Sav and I just looking over at each other like, what, what, is he still talking? Like, really? Uh, and obviously, you know, you understand that's this guy's, you know, legacy work. I didn't know that when they put the film out, they left about two-thirds of the crew off the credits list. Yeah. Uh, that that had to get changed. I did not know that. But say, I did learn things. Uh, I am a Ghostbusters fanatic. The Ghostbusters fanatic in me wants to give it two glaring thumbs. The realist in me gives it sort of a thumb and a half. I was just going to yeah. say mine would be a thumb and a half yeah. for this. No thumb wars, though. <laughs> no thumb wars. <laughs> no thumb wars, no Bill Murray. No.